Nicolas Spice can still beat his son at cards. He is turning 100 this year, and although his hearing is bad, he has no other health problems. He says he knows why people live here so long. Because God loves us. Visitors to Icaril will notice lots of elderly and some very elderly people living here. A generation that is still very much on its toes and full of energy. I've always worked hard, digging up the garden, moving around a lot. Christos Poris still does a lot of walking. He lives on his own and does everything without help. He says a long life requires good food. Goat's milk, fish, cheese, beans, and all the things I grow. Lettuce, herbs. Compared to Christos, 83-year-old Yorgos Caruso is a me youngster. He is one of the many beekeepers who produce the popular local honey. He says the bee stings don't bother him. In fact, he claims they're good against rheumatism. He sells the honey to tavern owners like Thea. She says the honey has medicinal properties. This is our springtime honey. And this is, we call this anamatomelo. When you wake up in the morning, you have one spoon and it cleans out your, all your digestive system. It's very good. It's very medicinal, and it's also very good for people who have diabetes. Everybody here has a recipe for a long life. Thea's Tavern offers traditional food, with a little meat and lots of local vegetables, both in summer and winter. Okay. There's different things that people do when they have a lot of zucchini, they put out in the sun to dry, and then they have it for the winter dried zucchini, which is very nice fried. So yes, I think the, tra the traditions are being continued. Zilke Wagner, a German, left her job 12 years ago to marry on Ikaria. Now she raises goats and makes cheese. Like the locals, she drinks a glass of goat's milk every day. Is that especially healthy? It seems to be. I think goat's milk is the next best thing to sheep's milk. Everyone here agrees that traditional eating habits are important for a long life. Sideris has another explanation, the island's beautiful women. He says the beautiful women make for a long life. <laughs> Athena and Nicolas are family members. He is 97, she is 93. <laughs> Athena still takes care of the household. She cooks and cleans with her daughter's help. Nicolas normally does the shopping, but today it's a bit too hot for him. The two start the day in a leisurely fashion. Slowly, slowly. We don't get as stressed as they do in the cities. There you're constantly under pressure. You never get any peace and quiet. We always told stories when we were working. We'd sit and eat together, dried fruit in the wintertime. And we'd laugh together. We weren't rushed in any way. Mm. <laughs> the clean air on the island does us a lot of good. And the fact that I've always got along with my wife. <laughs> A love of life and serenity. The islanders say these are important ingredients for their longevity.
Icaria has been spared the negative effects of mass tourism. The people here have kept up their traditions, and they have one golden rule. So if you don't finish it today, it doesn't really matter, because that's why God gave us tomorrow. So we have tomorrow to finish everything, and it's okay. <laughs> and tomorrow is another day to be enjoyed by young and old alike.